Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So where's Melania been? That's what I want to know. Don't you want to know? I mean, she has been under the radar, not to be heard or seen of. She's not being reported on anywhere in the world. So where in the world is Melania? So I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I think it's a fair question. You know, let me check to make sure this is recording. And yes, it is. Okay. So it's a fair question to ask. Where is Melania? And uh, gosh, will she stick it out? Will she stay till the end? Is she in this for the, for the long run? Um, likely, wouldn't you think? that she's like renegotiated whatever it is that she would need to do, done whatever she needs to do to try to make sure she exits this uh, well. If I was her, I'd been demanding lots of money be put somewhere a long time ago that I knew was safe. I sure would have. Um, besides whatever she could weasel out within her budgets or allowances or or credit cards or you know I had heard someone say once that she would in the beginning of that relationship she'd buy really expensive clothes and jewelry and, and accessories um, and then filter them down to her family so they could sell them <laughs> so I don't know let's see uh, before we do any of that though let's have just a moment of <laughs> meditation So Melania, uh, let's try to get uh, a few answers in one draw. I want to try to understand if she's still by his side, is she waiting to exit, and is her financial future set up? But I want to do that in one card draw, one draw of six cards. So let's see if that information can get out. So six cards, one. To remember, uh, I'll talk about these cards at the end of the video. And if you haven't subscribed, do so now. Pause. <laughs> so, Melania, cards, tell me what we need to know. That told me that I may be drawing some more cards off the top of that stack. We'll see. Uh, Melania, so this is the King of Swords truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is the knight. I'm sorry, the knight, the fighter. Okay, so she is the fighter for her justice. I think she stays just outside of trouble, and uh, and she's going to make sure that that's uh, what happens. That is what her job is in this relationship. The challenge to that, of course, are all the celebrations. These cups are celebrations. This is all of the uh, wealth um, that you enjoy in that kind of an atmosphere. The basis of this is that there are so many issues right now. It's just a lot, a lot of actions. And the past of this is that new journey. So they're on the same old journey that they've been on for too long. The sky of this is that is uh, the family, the happy family, and that's up in the sky. So that's what you're shooting for. And, um, and hers is simple. It's her parents, her sister, her son, and herself. And that's really about it. And in the, uh, and the likely outcome of this is the hanged man is looking at things from another position or being stuck uh, where you are. I think we're going to have to do four more cards. So the very uh, self, I'm going to spread them out, but I can tell you right now, I think I'm going to take them all from this end that was on top. The very self of this question about Melania is uh, in this card right here. Oh, okay. Now we're getting there. She is trapped. Okay, she's not because she can get out of it. She can just inhale, uh, slip out, and, um, and say, I'm not involved with this, but that's where she feels. The uh, 
environment that's in is this big, heavy pile of issues to move up the slope. And that's what her husband is trying to do. So the next card, or the hopes and the fears, is, uh, yeah, she uh, fears that she won't come out on top as a queen in charge of her actions. But she is very smug, and this woman even looks a little bit like Melania. And she's going to do everything that she can conjure to make sure that that happens. Hopes and the fears, and then the final outcome is right here, this page of cups, this compassion, compassionate page of surprise. Yeah, there's going to be some uh, small compassionate uh, maneuver or a gesture uh, that will be the final outcome that will offer her um, a, a route to more satisfaction. That's what I think. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this is another Los Scarabio, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these. All in the Rider weight uh, iconography kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look at how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning and someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards and sometimes it's good to lift the querent, um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute and then people get more involved. You know, once you've touched it, it's, uh, it's more appealing. So here we go, we'll get this going. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.